In this video, I'm gonna show you how to work with selective color or add a color splash to your images like the ones that you're seeing on the screen right now. And to do this, we're gonna use a free app called Snapseed. This is available for both Android and iOS users and I'm putting a link down in the description so you can download this app if you don't have it already. So go ahead and open up Snapseed and let me show you how to do this. The first thing you wanna do when you open up Snapseed is obviously tap on this giant plus button right here in the center. You wanna tap on that and then choose the photograph that you wanna edit. The first photo that we're gonna edit in this video is the pink classic car in Havana, Cuba. So I'm gonna tap on that and you're gonna see that a bunch of filters and tools show up here at the bottom. What you wanna do is tap on tools in the center at the very bottom. Once you tap on tools, look down on the bottom corner on the far right. And if you don't see black and white, scroll down a little bit until you see it, then tap on it. Snapseed is then going to apply a black and white filter to your photograph and they have some filters down at the bottom that you can play around with. They have neutral, contrast, bright, dark, film, and darkened sky. Now you can come back and adjust these later, but to get started, we're gonna do contrast on this one. Then we're gonna hit the check icon in the bottom right hand corner. Now we have a totally black and white picture, but don't panic just yet because we can change this and we're gonna let the pink show out from the car. And in order to do that, you wanna go up to the very top to the edit stack icon. You wanna tap that. Then you wanna come down to view edits. Once view edits opens up, you're gonna see all of the edits that you've made to the picture. Now I've only made one and that's turning it black and white. So that's the first one here on the top. If I tap on that, I have an option to delete the black and white setting, to mask the black and white setting, to paint it on or paint it off, or to adjust the black and white setting. We're gonna tap the one in the center. Now magically we have a color photograph again. And you can do this one of two ways. You can turn the car black and white and then inverse the picture, or you can tap on the invert icon over on the left and start with a black and white image and then reveal the color of the car. I like to work in reverse, so I'm gonna start with the color image and then I'm gonna zoom in with two fingers. I'm pinching and I'm zooming. And all I'm gonna do is simply start rubbing my finger along the car and being very careful along the edges. And you're gonna see that it's starting to strip out the color of the image. Now, if you make a mistake here, don't worry. I'm gonna show you how to correct these mistakes. I know not all of us are great at coloring in the lines and that's not a problem here. I will show you how to correct that when we get finished turning this car black and white. Now I've obviously made some mistakes here and you can see right here on top of the car, I've erased some of the building behind. Now earlier on I said if you make a mistake, don't worry about it, we're gonna fix it. Here's how you fix it. If you come down to the bottom, right now it says black and white 100. What you wanna do is tap the down arrow to reverse that to where black and white is at zero. Then you wanna come back in and you wanna paint in what you accidentally removed. And you see what's happening here is it's painting back in what I took off. So now you can go around your subject, whatever it is that you removed the color from. And if you need to fix anything, this is how you do it. Let's come up here, make sure I got everything just right. Okay, that's good enough. So now if you use two fingers and you pinch and you zoom out, this is what it looks like. And to reverse it, you tap on the invert icon on the bottom left. Boom, now you have a black and white picture with the pink car that is just screaming off the page and that looks absolutely amazing. But we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna tap on the check icon on the bottom right hand corner. Then we're gonna tap on our black and white edits once again, only this time we're gonna tap on settings. We're gonna tap on settings and we can still go back and we can adjust the background. Now don't worry if it doesn't show the color, it's gonna show the color when we're finished. So I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit, but I wanna adjust it just a little bit more. So I'm gonna tap on the settings once again down here at the bottom, and I can adjust the contrast, the brightness, and the grain manually. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm happy with the way this looks, so I'm gonna tap on the check mark once more. 
and then it's gonna correct the background. Now, once you have this looking exactly the way you want it, tap on the arrow on the top left-hand corner, and it's gonna take you back to where you began. So this is our image, and I think it looks really good. And if you wanna see what you started with, tap and hold on the image or under the image, tap and hold, and you're gonna see the before and the after. Now, this is the final image, and I'm happy with this. So now we're gonna save the image. So we're gonna export the image by tapping on export down on the bottom right. Then you have some options. You can save with changes that you can undo. You can save a copy with changes you can undo, or you can export it with permanent changes. I'm gonna export with permanent changes. Then it's gonna apply all the filters and all the changes that you made. And you know when it's finished because it's gonna say successfully exported down at the bottom. If you wanna learn even more tips and tricks and cool editing techniques with Snapseed, go ahead and tap on either one of the videos that I'm showing on the screen right now. Both of these are Snapseed tutorials that will help you improve your photo editing. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.